Tonight, we're out looking for America's largest scorpion. That should be the largest scorpion in all of the New World, actually. And this is Hadrurus arizonensis, the former subspecies Politus, which is the light form of the species. And while this scorpion is quite large, its venom isn't all that potent, so handling them won't be an issue. Pallid hairy scorpion, no longer a subspecies of the Arizona hairy. Uh, wanted to scoop him up. Next time, I guess. Do you see this? Yes, this is a rattlesnake. This particular rattlesnake is a sidewinder, Crotalus cerastes. And this one looks very nice, quite a, a nice orange accent on this one. Never seen that before. This one must be a neonate, like born this year or last year, probably this year. It's frozen in my light. It was moving before. The sidewinder started moving again, but every single time I uh, shine my light on it, it stops moving. Sorry buddy, but I have to move you. This guy is close to my car and, and everything where, where I'm, I'm walking around and the last thing I want to do is accidentally step on this one. So my best course of action is to move it away so I don't crush it accidentally. Uh, maybe quite difficult. Here you go. There's that side winding motion that they're named after. A familiar face, Adrodes ventricosus, the fuzzy darkling beetle. It's not dead, I promise. First dune scorpion of the night. Couldn't be bothered to turn on my, my white light. I've seen too many of these. An absolute beast of a camel spider, which I believe to be a Romacosta species next to my car. It's a male. And uh, I'll try not to get bitten here. Yeah, this is among some of the largest I've seen in my life. Managed to get it. Wow, it just became mellow all of a sudden. Very cool. Oh, it's also missing a leg, but very nice specimen. Another very expected find here, a yellow ground scorpion, Paravehovus waringi. American sand assassin spider right here, blending in with the sand. And it seems to be in sort of an ambush uh, mode, if you will, um, that I wasn't quite aware existed because it's out roaming around instead of staying in one place. This hairy scorpion definitely stands out with its size. Yes, definitely an impressive specimen. Another pair of Aeolus Waringi. Despite seeing so many of these, I see relatively few gravid like that one is. Dune scorpion. And hairy scorpion. Camel spider. This right here is a male Chainbria species. The one from around here is the one that I'm not sure how to identify. These are extremely quick. I'll see if I can manage to catch it. Got it. Typically you'll find them in the actual dunes. I'm in mean the flats next to the dunes. But uh, they'll wander off sometimes. This one isn't very big. The Chainbria here get like quite large. Not as large as the ones in like Palm desert, but quite a nice species nonetheless. Dune scorpion eats Pervehovus waringi. Oh. A little dune scorpion and a hairy scorpion. This hairy scorpion actually just caught an antlion because uh, my black light attracted it. Another huge camel spider here, and this one's even larger than the last one. Look at this. This is Definitely the largest I've ever seen in my life. Well, uh, out in the wild, at least. I need, to, I need to catch this guy. Definitely gonna get bitten though. Ow. There you have it. 
among the largest in the United States. And there are those mandibles that they are, or the chelicerae, they are very well known for. Hairy scorpion on the move. A little blue death thing below right here. Watch. Dead. Not really. If you're wondering what the scorpion density is around here, by any chance, then walk with me for a minute here. You just saw two there. And they seem to be in like sort of patches, if you will. Um, yeah, there's another one right here. And uh, there's also a lot of trash here, which um, almost fluoresces the same uh, color. This one right here, so makes it a bit difficult at times. This one right here too. Another one right here. But the wavelengths are a bit different, so it's not terrible. Another one right there. One hanging out right here. These are all dune scorpions, by the way. I'm not sure if I mentioned that. One right there. Yep. Definitely some patchiness going on in the distribution. Here's another one. And a couple more. Well, I think you get the idea. A lot of them out here. Look at this little gecko I just found running around the dunes. Super tiny. Very cute though. Let's see if I can catch it. Oh, stay with me. You don't need to run. Looks like it already uh, dropped its tail once. So I'm not too afraid of that happening yet again. Oh, there's a spider right there. Got it. Wow. It's been a while since I've seen one of these. Come back. And I've never seen one in the dunes before. And I'm in the center of a very large dune system, so this is very cool. Go on. Quite a large desert hairy sitting right here. Yes, I'm in your presence. Maybe you should, uh, maybe you should move. That'd be a good idea. Oh, not happy with me? I don't know why it's beating its tail on the ground like that. Very strange uh, specimen we have here. Will it sting too? Yes, I should hope. No? Yeah. Here's something you don't see every day. Scorpion bites. Yes, scorpions sting, but sometimes they bite. I've only ever seen this a handful of times. It doesn't really hurt or anything. It's kind of useless, actually. Very weird. There it goes again. Well, that will be all for this video. So, thank you for watching.